here's how I made a Galadrum helm out of leather. I also tested the pattern in EVA foam. I spent a lot of time fiddling with the design trying to figure out how to get this shape out of one big flat piece. Here I am just cutting out the pattern. I'm just trimming the edges off. It prints off on four separate pieces of paper and I'm just taping a pattern together. I'm just selecting some leather here. I'm using Veg Tan Cowhide, checking the back for marks. I use 10 ounce for the head of the helm and five ounce for the forehead spike. I traced the pattern onto the leather. I cased it and here I am just transferring the design using a stylus. You can also use a dull pencil instead, which can make it a lot easier to keep track of which lines you've traced already. I cut all of the patterns in using a swivel knife. Here's the helm all carved in. Here I am doing the exact same thing just with the forehead spike. It's created out of two halves glued together. The original helm had a two level effect, so I used a bevel stamp to tool those areas in to create depth. I cut the pattern out carefully using a sharp X-Acto knife. Here it is all cut out. While the helm was still damp, I molded it into shape, supporting it on a foam head. I like to use paper fasteners to line up the rivet holes. I tied the elastics as well. Then I left it to dry completely overnight. I glued the two halves of the forehead spike using barge cement and then trimmed the edges. I wet molded the bottom edges, pressing them outwards to form them into the forehead shape. I slid the forehead spike into the helm and stitched up either side, crossing my threads over periodically to cinch the two halves together. I wet the area to press everything into a nice shape. I tidied the edges a bit and then I dyed the leather using buckskin leather dye. The gold I had was too shiny so I mixed it one to one with brown and then thinned it to run it through my airbrush. Once the paint cured, I highlighted the swivel knife details using Black Phoebing's Leather Antique. I added the two rivets on top of the head. You tie the top elastic to itself and the bottom elastic to itself, and then you tie the top elastic down to the bottom one. This creates a very secure attachment, which is easily hidden under long elven hair. And here's the completed helm. If you'd like to make your own, you are most welcome. The pattern's available at the link below, including a pattern for foam.